Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths. And an interesting question which uh, has been arisen uh, by my buddy Omis Futile, who has just recently a posted a EMP, a EMP uh, tutorial. And he makes the, I guess, I suppose it's controversial? Anyway, the bold... Uh, proposition that EMP be removed from the game. As a mechanic, just scrap it. Get rid of it. No more of it. And it's gone. So, I don't have strong feelings on this either way. Uh, whichever one happens. Um, I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it staying. I'm fine with it being removed. But, I wanted to make this video because... Ohm's little tutorial inspired me to come up with a list of reasons for and against uh, removing EMP for the game or keeping it. So, a uh, link to Ohm's video is in the description. And while we're just uh, just talking, please enjoy the spectacle of this uh, flying wing just bombing a formation, of, a formation of marauders with giant as EMP bombs, since that's kind of on topic. Also, I like looking at this thing fly, it's fun. Powered by breadboard, too. More on that later. So, let's start with the reasons against uh, removing uh, EMP. Because I feel that a lot of people's knee-jerk reaction would be to say, like, No, it's fine. What are you talking about? If only because people are naturally resistant to change. By gum, we've learned the hard way about that with the From the Depths community. But anyway, so, the first thing that comes to mind immediately is that EMP is a good... A killer of small craft. You give a good EMP jolt to a flying squirrel or a gannet or a little twin guard drone that's like, you know, in a death spiral and is just wasting your time. It's zap, brain dead, and it's no longer your problem and like you don't waste any more time on it. So that is a reason against removing it is that like you get you lose a tool for zapping small craft uh, quickly and effectively because that is a problem with From the Depths. You do occasionally in the campaign run into problems where things just take a really long time because you're not 100% prepared for it. So there's reason one. Uh, reason two, EMP is an engaging mechanic uh, basically making you think about protecting your sensitive bits uh, of your craft, uh, protecting your electronic components, your AI components in particular, and if you remove that, well, it's like... I don't know, just your your AI uh, bits are just, you know, they're just so much safer, so to speak. And, like, you start to, you will might start to see the new meta of just incredibly thick armor around AI compartments. And, I don't know, it's just, like, it's a, one less interesting thing about the game. Which, you know, that is a position you could take. Um... And they're like, well, that's reason number three as well. I do have a script this time. But yeah, it would make the game kind of less interesting. It's like less tools in the toolbox. Um, speaking of tools, it's uh, one reason against removing MP is that it's a valuable counter against shields. So uh, both shield projectors... Marauder's making love down there. Uh, both shield projectors and ring shields are vulnerable to EMP and they can be uh, arguably hard to counter if you don't have like strong EMP... Uh, weapons available uh, so reason against removing them is that shields will suddenly get uh, a lot more stronger meta wise uh, also like one th something that might be uh, weakened meta wise is that uh, removing EMP would remove reasons for building using wood stone and rubber which are uh, the three most EMP resistant materials like rubber is like the king of EMP resistance uh, it's got by far the better best resistance and I can show you that right now. So, uh, wood has uh, EMP damage reduction of 50% plus 30 per meter. Stone has the same, 50% plus 30. Uh, rubber has 30% plus 60. So, by far the strongest uh, EMP reduction. And heavy armor has zero, by the way. Uh, so, arguably, the need for varying your building materials would be lessened. Um, like if EMP was removed from the game entirely, so that's, I guess, a meta reason for uh, keeping EMP in, is because it, like, it does make you vary what you're using with it, because otherwise it would probably just be, well, mostly metal, to be perfectly honest with you, like, even alloy and heavy armor, they really only have niche, per uh, niche use in comparison to metal. Um, 
EMP is also valuable for removing detection, so if you want to quickly blind an enemy craft, you just uh, use EMP missiles or particle cannons or maybe a cram cannon or APS. And uh, yeah, you just kind of uh, fry the detection so the thing can't shoot you anymore. And if EMP was removed, you'd like, again, one less tool in the toolbox. You'd have to uh, basically poke enemy craft in the eyes, you know, the hard and slow way, like slowing the gameplay down potentially and just it would be kind of a bummer I suppose and lastly uh, and this is keeping the devs uh, time and money in mind is that it would be a whole bunch of work uh, to remove EMP and rebalance the game uh, in an EMP free world so to speak so you have to ask the you have to ask the question is it worth the developers time to remove a mechanic uh, that has been in the game for so long because I don't I don't know when exactly EMP was put into the game but it's been there a long long time I think from the beginning correct me if I'm wrong it has certainly been there as long as I've been playing all right so that's the reasons against the removal so as a form of rebuttal to that first section we're going to talk about reasons for removing it so I'm going to touch on things that uh, Omis Futile has already said uh, but I'm going to add a few of my own and the objectivity and subjectivity of these, uh, I guess it goes for the reasons against removal as well, uh, it varies a little bit. So take it with a grain of salt, feel free to make up your own mind, make, your, um, uh, make up your own mind about it, so to speak. So, reasons for removing it, uh, and this is going back to the whole small craft killer thing, it's one more thing making small craft less viable in the game as a whole. And From the Depths has had this problem for years. This is... Just kind of the way the game works, in that um, the real-life restrictions against making gigantic craft and uh, components isn't really there because low gravity and structural integrity and craft not having to support their own weight and so on and so forth. Uh, big is better. Bigger is absolutely better from the depths, and so there's not much uh, cause for making small craft. Like, there, there are reasons for doing it, but... There's very little, there's not much reason to make a swarm of small craft when you can make a giant one that's pretty much more effective in every single way. Uh, and EMP is one more thing that makes small craft less viable because they're more vulnerable to EMP surges. Like, um, you have to ask yourself, like, there's so many reasons already why small craft have a hard time. Do we really need EMP as another one? And uh, arguably, same point, is like for quickly swatting small annoying craft, uh, hit scan weapons, so lasers and pack, even if they don't have EMP, they're already pretty good at doing that. Lasers in particular, uh, continuous or um, a continuous or 4Q laser just goes zap, 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 and it just melts uh, small swarms of craft very easily, and it's like, arguably, you don't even need EMP for that. Uh, so, big reason against, like, uh, big reason for removing it. Or I guess uh, nullifying a reason against removal is that doesn't actually help the meta anyway, at least where small craft are concerned. And speaking of meta, uh, one particular point that uh, Ohm was stressing is that EMP is one of those things in From the Depths is that if you are not prepared for it, it will murder you dead, like instantly, no mercy, no chance for revival, so to speak. But if you're prepared for it, it is kind of trivial to defend against. So, once you understand the mechanics of it, and I encourage you to go look at Ohm's tutorial to help you understand the mechanics of it, if you don't know or are unsure. Um, once you understand it, it's not hard to defend against. You just put surge protectors in the right place, uh, you put your AI bits on stuff that doesn't conduct it very well, and you can make a craft which are very EMP resistant, to the point where... Uh, people who just get used to building their craft that way, they don't even really worry about it, or at the very least that's the impression I get. Uh, so it's a it's one of those balance issues that's like, it's either way, way, way too strong, or it's like, you know, so weak to be absolutely useless depending on what you're shooting at exactly. And you could make that argument that that goes for anything in this game at all. If you're prepared for it, it's easy to deal with, and if you're not prepared for it, it's impossible. But EMP especially, just because of the very specific mechanics with it, you, like, you really... It's really a absolutely 
powerful murder weapon or it's like, you know, it's barely tickles. So arguably not much cause for it to be in the game uh, when you think of it that way. And uh, another thing that's interest uh, that's um, a point against it is that it's not particularly interesting to watch. So fragments, explosions, lasers, particle cannons, and like, all the fun means of making block confetti uh, in From the Depths, like, it's fun to watch. Remember, this is a video game. It's supposed to be fun, and visually engaging is a large part of that. It's, vi it, it's the video in video game. And EMP, uh, at least according to Ohm, and I am inclined to agree with him on this, is not fun to watch. It's basically, most of the damage is internal, you don't really see it, it doesn't make spectacular block confetti, and you kind of just see blue stuff oozing over a target. So if you eyeball a marauder in the distance there, you kind of see blue stuff happening, and they're like, okay, yeah, I guess that's cool, I suppose. But it's not visually exciting. So, I mean, you could argue that you could just, um, you know, change the graphics for it or something, but, you know, it's it won't be missed visually is the point, I guess. Okay, so on the count on the note with like it being a counter against shields, shields at this point in the game, uh, the way shields stand in the meta, shields barely need a specialized counter be because well, unless they get overhauled again, which who knows that could possibly happen. They've been overhauled so many times, it's it's amazing. Um, so shield projectors are almost crippled by. You know, random, like just their RNG random nation, uh, random nation, random nature. Uh, so, if you get a, an advanced cannon that just spits shells fast enough, shields really don't matter that much. Um, there are ways of making shield projectors more effective against shells, uh, but we won't go into that now. It's still very much luck of the draw whether they, you know, save your bacon or not. Against lasers, they're fantastic, but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, but also, like, even then, uh, particle cannons and missiles ignore shield projectors completely. So, arguably, uh, you don't really even need uh, EMP to counter shields, because there's two weapon systems that just ignore them completely. Like, particle cannons ignore them completely, and missiles ignore them completely, and, yeah, they just go straight through them. Now, ring shields, um, arguably, like, they're kind of weirdly... what's the word I'm looking for? Looking at my notes. Ring shields are kind of unwieldy to use. Uh, in fact, a lot of the time I'd say they're not worth it. I am biased against shields, by the way. Personal note, I am biased against shields. Um, but yeah, ring shields just improve the armor of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff in the game that has such high uh, armor penetration value, or does so much damage that armor's not relevant, that's like they don't really need a hard counter in the form of EMP, so doesn't really change that much if EMP is removed. Okay, so, like, speaking of not changing uh, things that much, on the note of uh, removing EMP would make wood, stone, and rubber useless, uh, arguably, in fact, a lot of the time when I see people uh, talking about uh, the virtues of those materials, it's got uses like way beyond EMP protection so wood and stone is cheap hit points and wood floats to boot so you'll notice I love building out of wood by the way so it's a great way to prototype uh, stuff that works if a craft works when it's made of wood it's almost certainly gonna w work when it's made out of other materials as well except for heavy armor of course um, but yeah it's like wood and stone have a kind of function as cheap hit points which is great for protecting against kinetic weapons and rubber is immune to collision damage, so rubber is always kind of handy uh, like on the bows of ships or on the underside of land vehicles and stuff like that. So it, like, it's not like removing EMP would re render those materials useless. They still have uses, quite important uses actually as well. So that point is kind of countered there. Uh, as for detection, like EMP being a valuable detection counter, Detection components aren't really that tough, and they tend to get blown up by, well, stuff that, you know, things that blow things up. So, I tend to find that detection, and this is not something I've tested, uh, per se, it's just kind of the impression I get, is that detection systems tend to get destroyed by anything that tends to hit the spots on a craft 
where detection systems tend to sit. So something that hits like the top of superstructure, something that hits uh, the sides or the tops of turrets, stuff like that, which usually means uh, missiles or cram cannons, assuming the craft is vulnerable to cram cannons. Let's spawn in some more marauders, actually, because we have run out of marauders. So yeah, detection systems kind of, you know, arguably you don't need EMP as an entirely separate mechanic in order to deal with them because you can just blow them up, you know, the regular way with stuff that goes kablooey. And as for, like, removing EMP being a lot of work, arguably not really. Bear in mind, I'm not a game designer and I can't code for crap. I've never made a video game. I just play them a lot because nerd, I guess. But the I have a gut feeling, and please correct me, uh, devs or anyone who knows uh, how Unity works, that the bulk of the work in removing EMP would just be changing block descriptions to not mention it. So it means, like, just say with wooden block, you just kind of delete uh, the bit that talks about EMP reduction. It means removing surge protectors, which, you know, most craft don't have a huge amount of their mass taken up by surge protectors, so it's not like they're going to fall to bits when you remove them. Um, and, uh, like, yeah, so it's like, it'll be tedious work, but not exactly difficult, and balance-wise, not a lot of rebalancing would arguably be needed, because EMP is kind of in its own separate little box of game balance. Uh, there's EMP and the surge protectors and the resistance of blocks and stuff like that, which is almost entirely separate uh, from everything else, from armor, from like uh, hit points, armor stacking, active defenses, and stuff like that. So arguably you could just pop it out of the game and within, I don't know, a week people would have barely noticed it's gone, so to speak. Unless you rely on it a lot. Um, that might be a little bit of a subjective point. And last but not least, and this is kind of the one thing I thought of which is not a counter to the reasons against removal, uh, EMP is kind of... I guess unsatisfying in the sense that um, it doesn't even really work uh, like electromagnetic pulses do in real life. Like EMP doesn't work like this at all. It's not like it's not physically making contact with something using a projectile and like sending a huge jolt of electricity through it. An EMP is like a uh, I really should have read up on this beforehand. Oh well, it's like kind of uh, a byproduct of a nuclear like detonation. It's a well, it's an electromagnetic pulse. It is basically a blast of electromagnetic radiation that does horrible things to electronics. So, like, it's like, it is actually, it's think of it like an airburst weapon, almost. So, you know, it's the kind of thing that I believe, I don't really know if there are truly functional EMP weapons uh, that have been produced, but it's like, the idea is you drop that and you fry electronics and everything else, is uh, kind of, you know, still standing, apart from the radiation, I suppose. And yeah, from the depths, uh, from the depths uh, EMP just doesn't work like that at all. It doesn't actually really work like real-life electricity either. So one uh, thing in Ohm's little tutorial uh, that is kind of... Um, uh, I forget, I don't, I'm not sure actually if EMP works like this, is that EMP cannot travel backwards. And EMP doesn't really spread, so to speak. It kind of just goes on a straight line on the path that does the most damage possible, which isn't really like how electricity works in real life. Electricity just just follows the path of least resistance, never mind what juicy targets are at the end of it, which I guess is a compromise uh, for the sake of making EMP more useful. Uh, so yeah, so that point is kind of an appeal to realism, which isn't always valid in From the Depths or video games in general. But remember that, like, real life is kind of how you ground a video game's mechanics. If it doesn't, if it is unrealistic to the point that it doesn't really make sense, then it's kind of unsatisfying. So you could say that EMP is kind of unsatisfying in that way, in that it doesn't really work uh, like the real life equivalent, like, at all. It's not like, say, like, you know, advanced cannons or cram cannons, in which the muzzle velocity is just dropped for the sake of, uh, the game's calculations and balance. Now EMP just works completely differently and it's kind of meh. So that's uh, that's quite a lot of reasons for removal actually on review, but uh, there is an alternative is that it could be overhauled. And 
I have no idea how exactly you would do that to everyone's satisfaction. Uh, odds are good that if you did overhaul it at this point, a lot of people would be unhappy because a lot of people, you know, people always are. Uh, but one suggestion is that you could make it more realistic, massive air quotes, and that it's kind of works like uh, explosions do, except it's an explosion that passes through blocks, so the blast passes just through blocks with varying levels of resistance, and it specifically fries the things that, you know, are vulnerable to EMP, so could make it more interesting, it could make it easier to defend against while simultaneously being kind of more useful, because it means you could have EMP flak, because, you know, airburst, uh, that would be kind of fun, potentially. Um, that probably would be kind of hard work, though. Again, I'm not sure, but um, you'd have to risk, you could potentially just, you'd have to do a whole bunch of stuff and probably a lot of testing to make sure that's not hopelessly overpowered or underpowered. So yeah, that's basically it. So the queer, like, pretty much every reason against removing EMP, you can kind of counter um, with a reason for removing it. Uh, plus the whole, it doesn't work like real EMP anyway. And like overhauling it, like, that really depends on what uh, the developers are prioritizing right now. Because they're, they're, they're up to other things, you know. They've got, you know, they've got a long to-do list. So yeah, that basically does it uh, for this, um, for this, I guess, uh, spitballing uh, video. Uh, whether EMP should stay in the game or not. And developers, if you are watching this, um, like, you know, usual story. Like, consider these kind of arguments on their own merits. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who makes the game. Whatever you go with, I will roll with. And, like I said at the beginning, I don't have strong feelings either way, but it does seem to be there's slightly more reasons for removing it uh, than keeping it in. Um, I guess, like, you could argue that if it ain't broken, don't fix it, but you know what? Like, I'm leaving that up to the developers and you guys to discuss. So let me know your thoughts on whether EMP should stay or go or be changed completely. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. And do give Omis Futile a watch. It's worth it. Farewell.